What's good, boys? Yeah, it's a hat day today. I don't know why. I never wear hats. It's just a hat day today. Two pieces of incredible news. Number one, the Owen jokes are over. The Lions get their first ever win of the season. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys knew this, but on MMG Live, my podcast channel, I bet Chase, if the Lions went winless, like didn't get a single win, I would get the word Owen tattooed on my thigh. If the Lions have zero wins at the end of the season, I will get a tattoo on my body that says Owen. No way, Yes, I will. And for the last five weeks, I have been mortified that we were actually gonna go winless. Either way, we clutched up, be the Vikings. Sorry, Vikings fans, I know it's a tough week for you guys. Second piece of good news, the last time I tried to do an NFL meme review, I was telling you guys about an account called Ghetto Gronk on Instagram. The funniest man alive, in my personal opinion. The only issue was his account was banned, like two months ago when I was trying to do this. But guess what, baby? His account is back. I noticed that when I would do videos like make me laugh to win Madden or whatever, everybody was really just stealing Ghetto Gronk's content because he's so funny that that's kind of where everybody was getting the good memes. So show this guy some love. And if you want to follow someone hilarious on uh, Instagram, follow Ghetto Gronk, dude. This guy is so funny. Where do we start? It's been a while since we've uh, taken a peek here. We'll start with the Baker Mayfield cycle. We'll start by shitting on some Browns fans. Play like shit, criticized by media, underdog mentality, beat inferior opponent. Oh my God, low key, the Browns played so horrible against the Lions. Film new commercial, play like shit. Bro, low key, Baker Mayfield is galaxy braid. He is just like Juju. Juju, low key, might be the third best receiver on the Steelers right now. And I don't mean that as hate. I like Juju a lot. But Juju is on every commercial known to man. Cause like every company's like, oh, gamer football player. Juju secures the bag regardless of how well he plays. It's kind of what Baker Mayfield is doing. He's on all those commercials and he's low key a pretty mediocre quarterback this year. Baker Mayfield. This is from last week's games. Caption is Lamar threw four interceptions and still outplayed Baker. Oh, <laughs> I like this one. Steelers fans, you're not safe. Unimpressive wins to start the season. Fans get delusional. Can't beat good teams. Get exposed as frauds. Big Ben's CM. <laughs> Whoa, okay, whoa. Cam Newton, five for 21, two interceptions, five when he already got patched. You know what's crazy too is Cam Newton played so good in his debut game for the Panthers, and then he literally ratio plus fell off. Jalen Rager really dropped two potential game-winning touchdowns. Hey, well, if you guys watched Wheel of Mutt yesterday, which you definitely should have, you will know that I also hate Jalen Rager. The Rams are 0-3 since acquiring OBJ and Von Miller. Dude, I don't know. I'm a bit of a Rams dick rider, but they played good games and tough teams. Matt Nagy hanging out to his strength to the Bears head coaching job. I think the two coaches who need to be fired, Pete Carroll, Matt Nagy, probably Mike Zimmer too. After losing the Lions, he is up there. <laughs> this is my favorite one. The Giants left tackle has more touchdowns this season than their 72 million wide receiver and first round pick combined. The Giants have been superbly uh, unspectacular. Browns players dads getting ready to trash Baker Mayfield. Christian McCaffrey last year's bro. This is so sad. Christian McCaffrey was like an indestructible tank for his first like three years in the league, dude. And now he's just been so injury prone. It's so sad. Russell Wilson this season. Yeah, ratio plus you fell. Russell Wilson every single year convinces people he's the best quarterback in the league for like four weeks and then he just falls off a cliff every single year. Ooh, it wasn't the first time Russell Wilson has thrown an Enzo interception to end the Seahawks season. I was pissed off watching that Washington football Seahawks game, bro, because DK Metcalf was wide open. DK Metcalf's dad about to go crazy on Facebook tomorrow. Russell Wilson every season, weeks one through, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, Jalen Hurts slander get a Gronk, bro. We are really gonna slander the goat back there? Let's let Russ come. Cook. Russell Wilson. I put this on my story. All they said was let Russ cook. They didn't say it would be good food. Seahawks really trade away their future to the Jets for Jamal Adams to have the same record as them. You know, that might be super galaxy brain now because now the Seahawks will have a good draft pick and hold on to most of their team. Thank you for participating in No Win November. It's pretty cool that we're in the same league as the Rams, but we are undefeated in December. There's not a lot of teams that can say they're undefeated in December. The Detroit Lions are undefeated in December. Taysom Hill throws four interceptions in primetime. Sean Payton. <laughs>
19 for 41, four interceptions, 40 mil stolen, <laughs> not a QB. I, okay, I love Taysom Hill. I cannot justify that contract. How the fuck? How did Taysom Hill get paid 40 mil, bro? Taysom Hill throwing the ball. Oh no, dude. I, I know this clip. Ooh, yeah. Rookie of the year, just getting beamed up and intercepted by Mac Jones. The Detroit Vikings. Imagine being a Vikings fan. L plus ratio, plus you fell off. That is- Minnesota! <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking best. Yep. Hey, Zimmer. Zimmer, you might be out of there, bud. Oh my God. I cannot believe the Patriots are the first seed. That shit is wild. Javante Williams on the Broncos. <laughs> Dude, Javante Williams went off. Tyreek Hill thinks we forgot. I have literally never seen these. The bottom left one's my favorite. Tyreek hearts you. Antonio Brown showing the NFL his Vax card. I don't get how like in a professional league though, how do you guys get scammed by Antonio Brown providing a fake Vax card? This is the NFL. How did you all get scammed by Antonio Brown of all people? For those of you who don't know, need some context. Basically the NFL asked Antonio Brown to show, like provide his vaccination card and he had a fake one made. So he gives the NFL a fake Vax card. And for like a long time, like multiple weeks, they were like, oh, okay, that looks legit. And he just played. And then finally it came out. It was Antonio Brown's former chef. So he used to be a chef for Antonio Brown, but is no longer. He snitched to the NFL. He was like, yo, by the way, Antonio's Vax card is completely fake. Go check in on that shit. They checked in and they were like, oh, it's fake. <laughs> Antonio Brown's chef after he didn't get paid. Yeah, he's Takashi 6 9 up there ratting on everybody. Jamal after beating the defensive end <laughs> allegations. <laughs> OBJ, PB&J, Von Miller, Miller Lite, don't matter. Niners and four. Niners are ass. I don't want to hear anything about the Niners. Dude, stop. Stop doing Matthew Stafford slander. He's so much better than Jared Goff, and you know it. It's fucked up. I'm not allowed to laugh at this. I'm not allowed to laugh at this. I'm not allowed to laugh. I need to step out of the room. I had to use the bathroom. When you throw an interception to Blitzboy and he actually catches it. John Gruden's fantasy football team. Gruden's grinders lineup. Kirk Cousins, Christian McCaffrey, Rex Burkett, Beasley, Cooper Cup, half of Jimmy Graham, anyone but Young Way Koo. Raiders minus Carl. Oh my God. He has a guard at the flex. John Gruden looking for the person that ruined his career. I stand with John Gruden. The NFL is blackballing him. He put Drew, he put Drew Brees. And Nick Bosa in here. Dude, when the Dolphins beat the Ravens, I saw a stat. It was like they ran the same blitz like 39 times. Like actually 39 times, the exact same blitz. And it was mid blitz. Every good Madden player would pick this defense apart. It's honestly true. Mid blitz is so easy to pick apart now. You just lost to the Sheldon High School Fishing Club president. I love that this picture exists. As long as Justin Herbert continues to be good, which he most likely will. We can use this photo for like 10 years. That's so exciting. Browns fans, when someone calls Baker Mayfield average. This is literally how my comments are gonna look after this video. This is obvious, right? Ah, I don't know. That might be a stretch. This might be a stretch right here. The NFL when Clyde Edwards alert pointed at someone. My son saw this and now he's addicted to drugs. Do better. I hate the NFL's taunting rules. Oh my God, I hate the NFL's taunting rules. These guys are out there basically like gladiators fighting each other. Let them taunt a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed a gigantic shout out to Ghetto Gronk, bro. This guy is a god. He has the best shit. Go follow him. I'll definitely do another one of these this season. Probably as we get closer to Super Bowl playoffs, just gonna have so many good ones, dude. I hope you guys enjoyed. I can't wait to make another and I will see you in the next video. Peace.